India is said to be rushing to buy specialist winter warfare equipment from the United States. Observers believe that this could mean India is preparing for border tensions with China to last into the winter. The standoff in the Himalayas has prompted India and China to move troops, tanks and missiles to the disputed region. Despite months of talks, they failed to reach an agreement, though. Tensions continue to be fraught, with India capturing a Chinese soldier who'd strayed into Indian territory. Neha Punya joins us now from Delhi with more on this story. Neha, how are these reports stacking up against what you know from officials and experts? And, and, and who does that signal? Well, neither the foreign ministry nor the defense ministry have officially commented on this. They've neither confirmed nor denied these reports. But uh, here's what we do know, that a senior official of the Indian Army is currently in the U.S., the country that India bought this uh, high-altitude gear from, and also that uh, India's uh, shopping of uh, military hardware and equipment has gained a new urgency ever since this standoff with China has stretched on for uh, now more than six months. So far, there have been seven rounds of talks uh, between the military leaders. There was also a high-level diplomatic engagement between the foreign ministers of both countries where the entire world was told that a disengagement was imminent. But more than a month on, there's nothing really that's changed on the ground except for the onset of a very harsh winter. And uh, despite all this, there will be another round of talks that will be held next week. And experts say this clearly signals that both sides are keen to ensure that dialogue continues, that there's no new provocative action from this side. And uh, the fact that uh, experts say that this report is now circulating lends credence to the fact that India is preparing for what will be a long haul deployment. This is the longest and the worst standoff between the both uh, countries in nearly 40 years. Thousands of troops continue to be deployed at uh, an altitude of 15,000 feet in what will be temperatures of minus 30 degrees Celsius. And uh, the concern is that uh, things shouldn't get worse during the long winter months. And uh, here's what uh, strategic affairs expert Harshpan told me earlier today. The possibility that India is uh, procuring uh, you know, high altitude gear uh, is, is indicative of the trend that uh, India has almost reconciled itself to the fact that uh, the re resolution to the border problem is not going to happen anytime soon. And therefore, uh, you have to be prepared uh, with all uh, that it entails. And in this case, uh, you need gear because the number of troops that are being deployed, they have not been deployed in the past in, in those numbers. So clearly there is going to be a shortage. And so, in, you know, um, uh, what do you do in, in such a situation? You, you try to procure it uh, on a short notice from, from countries that you have not gone to earlier. So in this case, the U.S. has become a vendor. Neha, India says it captured a Chinese soldier who strayed across the border today. Do you have any more details on this? That's right, uh, Steve. Earlier today, the Indian Army confirmed that it had, in fact, uh, detained uh, a soldier of the um, Chinese Army in Ladakh. That's the same region where this uh, current standoff is uh, ongoing. The Indian Army confirming that there have been um, inquiries made by the Chinese Army about this missing person and that uh, he was uh, found in Ladakh and then given um, uh, medical aid, including oxygen, warm clothes, as well as food, which uh, experts say uh, point to the fact that perhaps he was missing for a few days, if not longer. The Indian government says that uh, this uh, soldier will be returned, repatriated to China after due procedures are followed and uh, due investigations are made. And um, there are some reports that uh, suggest that he also had some military documents on him as well. But the Indian Army has uh, not reacted to those reports yet. But it's interesting that this cooperation is happening at a time when that standoff has gone on for more than six months. But earlier this year as well, there were five Indian um, uh, civilians who had crossed over into Chinese territory. And they were also similarly repatriated by Beijing. Right, thanks for getting us up to speed. Nihal Punia speaking to us from New Delhi.